Let's have a look at question 3 in this video. So we have a distribution with a sample of 10 observations. These are the observations and we want to know whether the interquartile range is true or not, true or false. So how do we do that? We know that the interquartile range is going to equal to the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile, but before finding those, we must find out the median. And knowing that we have 10 observations, we know that we have 10 observations, which is an even number. So this is an even number, meaning that the median is going to equal to the average of the middle two observations. So we will have four observations to the left, two observations in between where we're going to calculate the median, and then four observations to the right. Now before doing that, let's count first if we wrote this correctly, because I wrote this distribution from smallest to largest. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you see, I'm missing an observation. Uh, let me see, 2, 2, 2. So there should be three twos. I only wrote two twos, so I'm missing a two. Now there's 10 observations. Let's leave four observations to the left. One, two, three, four. Let's take the middle two observations. One, two, three, four to the right. The median is the average of these two. So the median is going to be two plus two divided by two. That's going to be the average of the middle two observations, which is equal to two. So that's going to be our median. Now with this in mind, we can calculate the first quartile and the third quartile. So we got until the median, we got one, two, three, four, five observations odd number, meaning that the median of this half of the distribution is going to be the middle. So the third observation in this case, one, two, three. This is literally in the middle. That's our first quartile. We do the same logic on the right distribution, on the other half of the distribution. We have one, two, three, four, five observations. The median of this half of the distribution is the middle observation. So the third observation again, one, two, three, that's going to be this value, that's the third quartile. With this in mind, we can calculate the interquartile range, which is going to be equal to the difference between three and one, and that's equal to two. And the answer key also says it's two, so it is true, and we are done.